Hi, this is Gustav Wallner from 360 Hockey Skills and Stars on Sports. Today we will talk about um, goal scoring. And one of the shots that uh, not too many players are practicing is the backhand shot. The backhand shot you've seen some of the world's best players use. Sidney Crosby used the backhand. We've uh, seen Pavel Datsuk use the backhand shot. Patrick Kane used the backhand shot. If you ask the goalies which shot is uh, the hardest shot to read, they'll come up with an answer and tell you the backhand shot. Even though the, uh, the players know that the backhand shot is a, is a tough shot for goalies, it's also a very tough shot, a tough shot to practice for the players. And most players that we've seen in the camps, they typically want to work on the shot that they know the best. In today's episode, we will give you some ideas of how you can improve your backhand shot. And it wouldn't take long for you to be one of the better players in your age group if you put some time and effort into the backhand shot. If you, th if you think about um, playing a hockey game and in any given situation that could happen, you will have the opponent um, coming from different directions. And that will force you to be able to control the puck uh, on your strong side and in front of you and also on your weak side. So in the, in the last episode, my colleague Thomas was talking about you, how the importance of controlling the puck on your weak side, on your backhand side. And for goal scoring, and the, the opponent, the defenseman, will usually uh, force you out to your weak side. Uh, he wants you to keep the puck on the backhand side. Now, if you work on your backhand shot, this could be your strength, and, and it won't matter if, if you have the puck on the backhand side or the forehand side, you'll be able to take the advantage of any given situation that happens to you. So in the, in the long term, it's about you to be able to work on your skills all around the body. For shooting, the backhand shot is the shot that is least worked on. So follow my, my um, uh, directions and listen to the exercises. And in the end of, of the exercises, I will also give you a little bonus exercise how to work with your backhand when you're close to the net. So if, if we break down the backhand shot, we start with our feet. Number one, stand shoulder wide apart. Then keep your knees bent. Uh, this is where you keep your balance and able to generate power. The front leg, you want to open up four to five degrees. And that is uh, the reason why you want to do that is for you to be able to rotate your hip when you follow through the shot. If you keep the foot closed, you will lock your hip. By opening up your, your front foot, that will uh, help you to, to follow through your hip motion toward the net. Uh, the last thing you want to also remember to push from the back leg to your front leg and rotate your hip. Back leg to your front leg and rotate your hip. That will help, help you to generate more power when you shoot so when it comes to the upper body, um, your hand position obviously have, have uh, some importance. Um, so what you want to think about is to keep your bottom hand half an arm length away. So you put your elbow on top of your upper uh, hand and that's where you grab the bottom hand. Then the motion is when you, when, you, when you start the backhand shot motion, you want to start by cupping the blade over the puck. Remember to lower your, your top hand. In this way, you will keep the puck on the heel of the blade. If you keep your top hand too high, the, the puck will ro rotate too quickly up to the toe. And because the blade is bent, um, most players don't play with complete straight sticks today, so uh, you want to lock the, the puck on the on the blade by cupping the blade and lower the top, the upper hand. From here, as you transfer your body weight, you're gonna open up the, the blade by turning the, 
your wrist away from the body and now you elevate the puck and then you're gonna turn the wrist toward your, your upper body and then both hands going toward a specific target. What a lot of players are doing, they use the they pull with the top hand and the bottom arm and they get this motion. What you want to do is use the top hand and push away. That's your leverage right here. Push away from the body and then follow through. So in the next exercise we will uh, work on shooting uh, back and wrist shot without the puck. And the reason why we want to work without the puck is that it's very important to get the correct movement pattern and I believe that it's much easier to learn a movement pattern without a puck and then once you know the, the, the correct movement then we will add a puck. So from here this is your uh, starting position. The puck will be on the heel of the blade and then I'm going to push from the back leg and then as I'm transferring my body weight I'm going to press down the the stick. This is where you get a little bit of a flex, not as much as when you shoot forehand wrist shot. Uh, a little bit of a push and then from here you're going to open up the blade. This is what, what helps you to lift the puck off the ice. And the more you open up the blade, the higher you're going to shoot. From here, now it comes to follow through. So watch my top hand. As I um, Drive the, the puck toward the net. I'm going to push the upper hand away from my body and the lower arm is going to go toward the net. And then when you finish, you will be cupping the blade over the puck and pointing the toe of the blade toward the target. You also see my whole body is now leaning on the front leg. So from, the, from this to start, you Place the blade behind your back foot, that's your body weight, push the, the blade down and then open up the blade and then close the blade and then follow through and then you repeat the exercise. So in the next exercise now we will um, shoot back and wrist shot with the puck and we will start by controlling the height and we're going to start with shooting low. Um, just like a backhand pass, you, you're going to shoot um, backhand shot low and we want, we want to keep the puck uh, on the ice the whole time. The key thing to in order to keep the puck on the ice is the angle of the blade. So if you see here, the angle of the blade and now the, the, the blade is cupped over the puck. The moment I'm going to open up the, the blade, if I do that quickly, that will help the puck to um, elevate. Now, as long as you keep the puck uh, cupped over the puck, you will keep the puck on the ice. You will start with the puck behind the, the back foot. I'm going to keep the puck on, uh, cupped over the, over the puck. And then from here, I will open a little bit, but it will not stay entirely open. You see the blade is still cupped over the puck. And then I will close the blade and then point to, uh, the toe of the blade toward the target. So now we've learned how to shoot backhand wrist shot low. Now we're going to learn how to shoot high. And just like I showed you before, with the angle of the of the blade, how you elevate the puck. If you open, the more you open up the blade, the higher you're going to shoot. And so you know, you start the exercise just like before. You're going to cut the blade over the puck, keep the puck on the heel of heel of the blade, and then lower your top hand, bar the grip, and then open up the front foot. Now we're ready to transfer a body weight, keeping your knee bent. So I'm going to go from here, I'm going to, the puck is going to rotate, now I'm going to elevate it and now that after that close the blade, pointing the toe of the blade at one of the high targets.
So part of the backhand shot is learning how to use your top hand. One of the key ingredients in, in order to shoot a, a good backhand shot is able to use your top hand in a certain way. So one exercise that we will, will do is shooting one-handed backhand shots. And you actually seen some of these uh, shots going in uh, during NHL games. You've seen Sidney Crosby, for example, using a one-handed backhand. So the first thing you want to think of is that you you will cup the cup the blade over the puck, and you want to keep your puck on the heel of the blade, and then make sure that you turn your elbow away from your your upper body. Now stand wide. Remember uh, turning your front foot toward the net and then from here you're going to start giving the, the puck a push as the puck will rotate from the heel to the toe here is where you the, where you will use a quick wrist motion so you'll open up the, the blade this is where you lift the puck now here comes the, the last part that's closing the blade and then following through don't worry about not lifting the puck. If that's too hard, then you just go to, for a lighter puck, a blue puck. And if that's too hard, you go for a, a ball. So in all the uh, exercises that we've been working on, those are backhand wrist shots and from a distance. But what if you come, come up close to the goal? Well, usually the goal will be covering all, uh, all the eyes. Maybe a, uh, open up a little bit between the legs if you do a fake. But there, there's gonna be situations where you wanna be able to elevate the puck all the way up to the, to the roof. So if the goalie comes down on the knees, he's covering everything on the ice, you're gonna need to be able to shoot really high. And in the next exercise, the last exercise, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Thank you for watching this uh, episode and I hope to see you in the near future. Um, remember to practice your backhand and I guarantee you, you will get rewarded if you keep your patience and keep working out your ba on your backhand. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, down below. Thank you for watching.